Canadians' most pressing need heading into next season? For me, it's finding a backup goaltender for Carey Price. Because if you look the last two seasons, he's really had no one that they haven't been able to rely on the backup and give Carey Price a night out, a night off. I should say, maybe he can go out afterwards. <laughs> Um, but, probably needs a night out, I think. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But, uh, you know, this shows that this playoff uh, experience shows that Carey Price, if he had, if he was rested, he's able to elevate his game. So constantly relying on him, especially if you go down the stretch, if the Canadians are close to making the playoffs, as we, as we saw last season, they're going to try and rely a lot on Carey Price. And that's not the kind of Carey Price you want going into the playoffs. So for me, I think Mark Bergevin has to go out there and get a goaltender who is going to play at least 20 games and that you're confident putting him in when it's a game that you have to win. I think, I think they need to get someone who can put the puck in the net. That's, I mean, Cole Caulfield, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with him now with the whole COVID and what's going to happen with university hockey season. He was supposed to go back and play at Wisconsin this season. I know Mark Bergeron is looking forward to the day you can have Nick Suzuki and Cole Caulfield play together on the same line, but they need to get somebody who can put the puck in it. This has been a problem for this team for so long. They relied too heavily on Brendan Gallagher, who you know scores those galley goals, those dirty goals where he's getting you know beat up in front of the net and he hammers in a rebound of that. They need a guy, but like a Max Petrate, a guy who can score from anywhere in the offensive zone, a guy who can shoot the puck and score. They need to get that. They have these two young centers coming up now, Kakinyi and Suzuki. They're both good playmakers. They need to have somebody that they can get the puck to who's going to put it in the back of the net. There's going to be some free agent possibilities during the offseason. Mark Bergeron has money to spend. In the past, we've seen that free agents are reluctant to come here, but he's got to find a way, whether it's through free agency or through a trade, they need to get a big gun who can put the puck in the net and you, you know, you're almost guaranteed 30 goals. There's not a, not a lot of those guys out there, uh, but they need someone to take some of the goal scoring pressure off of Brendan Gallagher and somebody who is a pure goal scorer. Not the Brendan Gallagher who's just standing in front of there whacking away. And we all love Brendan Gallagher for doing that, but they need a pure goal scorer on this team. Well, well this is a long term solution, but can you see Kovalchuk coming back to the Canadians next year? He had one goal in the last 24 games he played this season. So, you know, Ilya Kovalchuk had a little bit of a boost when he came to Montreal, but, uh, you know, he's, he's not going to, you know, he, he is who he's, what, 35 years old now. He's not going to, you know, we have, Montreal fans got a little boost in a season that was so bad. He provided a little bit of a boost, but again, you know, he did nothing with Washington. Yeah, I think you're right. So he, he didn't do didn't do much there, and I, I'm not not surprised. Okay, go to hockeyinsideout.com now and check out this week's full episode.